my YouTube friends, Itzy here. Today is day 12 of my fast, and what you see behind me here is my little cabin. That's where I live, at least for the next, I don't know how long yet. Anyway, yesterday I was doing really well, and after I got done making my video and sat through some talks and things like that, I started to get really nauseous and I was pretty much nauseous the whole rest of the day and I could deal with just about any kind of pain but nausea, nausea is just something I do not like to deal with. I'm not good at it, it sucks and some of you may have realized for a long time that I'm full of shit. <laughs> But now I'm realizing myself that yes, I am absolutely full of shit. <laughs> and it just doesn't want to seem to move. <laughs> so it was kind of funny because on Facebook my friend Heidi said, Are you doing any animals, enemas or colonics or anything like that? And I said, No, it's all natural, you know. But I think a warm enema would feel real good right now. <laughs> just to get rid of this crap. I... I keep feeling like I want to have a bowel movement and it doesn't happen. And all that keeps going through my head, as ridiculous as it is, <laughs> is uh, the Jamie Lee Curtis commercial. Activia! Take the 14-day challenge or 7-day challenge or whatever it is for her. Yogurt. <laughs> but it's not something I want to do, but... There's something I want to do because I really want to get rid of all this shit and be a little bit less full of shit than I am right now. So, <laughs> so that's what's going on there. Other than that, I feel pretty good. I'm not quite so nauseated today, but I still didn't, didn't get rid of any of my crap. So maybe hopefully today. You never know. I mean, it might take until I refeed again to get rid of this crap. Because what happens is there's something called peristalsis and it's your intestinal muscle contractions that's like a wave-like motion. I'm sitting on really uncomfortable rocks right now. Not for too much longer though. But this, this wave of uh, movement through the, through the intestines that keep things moving along. But usually it takes food to make that activated, to make the peristalsis activated. So there's no food coming in. So the peristalsis really isn't activated by much. So it's pretty much not really activated at all as far as I know. The only thing is the hardening of all the mucoid plaque that's stuck in my gut right now, in my intestines right now, is softening up. And I believe that's probably where the nausea and the intestinal yuckiness is going on. I've all my life had, when I would work on my own belly, I always felt bruised in my intestine area, the whole intestinal area. So I think by the time this fast is over, that'll be a thing of the past. As long as I keep my diet pretty optimal, I should be okay with that. So I'm looking forward to the changes. And I know it's all part of the process, but nausea is something that I just don't like to deal with. If you're one of those people that you could deal with a pebble in your shoe all day or a really bad migraine headache or a backache, but nausea is just another thing that you just don't ever want to deal with, give me a thumbs up because <laughs> I believe there's a lot of people that are pretty wimpy when it comes to that and I am certainly one of them. All right, well, thanks for watching and for day 12, I'm doing really well. I don't feel nauseated yet. I have a feeling the more water I drink, the more nauseated I will get. So far, I drank about a quart of water, and it's about quarter after 10 at this time. So by the end of today, I'll probably drink about four quarts of water altogether, or five. So I think, I don't know, hopefully I'll lose some of my shit. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe when you can, and I'll catch you later, my friends. Peace. Take care.